Today we're making teriyaki salmon with bok choy. I'm Julia from vikalinka.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for reliable recipes you can use every day. This is such an, a great and easy recipe. You're cooking teriyaki salmon with bok choy all in one pan and then just serve over rice and your dinner is ready. Let me show you the secret to the most flavorful marinade for your salmon that you're going to use over and over again. You can also use it on chicken or beef. I love cooking my salmon with bok choy, but you can obviously replace bok choy with any vegetables that you like. Just make sure that it's similar in texture and it will take the same amount of time. For example, broccoli or cauliflower will work wonderfully here as well. In a small bowl, mix the teriyaki sauce, soy sauce, marin, ginger and garlic. Take 4 tablespoons of the mix and pour over the salmon. Let it marinate for 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Keep the reserved marinade for the bok choy and the glaze. Meanwhile, cut the bok choy in half or quarter them if you're using the big ones. Take the salmon fillet out of the marinade and arrange on a baking sheet together with the bok choy. Brush the teriyaki marinade over bok choy and bake in the oven for 20 minutes. While the salmon and the bok choy are cooking, put the remaining marinade in a small saucepan and bring to a boil until it gets thick and syrupy. Set aside till later. Before serving, sprinkle with sliced spring onions and sesame seeds. Like I mentioned, this salmon goes so well with white rice, but if you're trying to go low carb and you're not eating rice, so you can use cauliflower rice or any other vegetable rice that you prefer.